But what I realized when I really listened to the Christian message and understood it, I realized that sin is not like that at all. In fact, what, what makes sin so devastating is that God is holy. What does holy mean? Holy means set apart. It means God is above, is beyond. He's set apart from everything. And who is God? God is life. God is love. God is goodness. God is joy. God is hope. God is peace. God is purpose. And if I sin, what I am doing is I am intentionally removing myself from all of that. I'm removing myself from life, from love, from joy, from hope, from peace, from purpose. I am taking myself away from the source of all goodness when I sin. I am destroying my soul because sin is devastating. Anytime you talk about the origins of Islam, you start talking about Muhammad or you start talking about the Quran, people say Islamophobia that shuts down the conversation and then there's a bunch of angst. There's a bunch of confusion that never gets clarified. Now there's something very profound in that because as a Muslim, the Quran doesn't even let you believe that Jesus died on the cross. The Quran says in Surah An-Nisa, which is chapter 4, verse 157, He was not killed, nor was he crucified, but so it appeared to them. So the Quran denies that Jesus was killed by crucifixion. But if you study the history of Jesus' life, I'm not talking about Christians studying the history of Jesus' life. I'm talking about atheist, skeptical, agnostic scholars like Paula Fredrickson, like Marcus Borg, like Bart Ehrman, none of whom are Christians. All of them say, if we can know anything about Jesus' life, it's that he died by crucifixion under Pontius Pilate. The death of Jesus is the most solid fact regarding his life, historically speaking, and that alone challenges the truth of the Quran. And as a Muslim, I had to really wrestle with that.